UK stocks bounced up Friday as the broader European equity market found cheer from the formation of a new government in Italy, but London's blue chips benchmark was headed for a lackluster weekly performance. The FTSE 100 index UKX, plus 0.31% rose half a percent to 7,715.67, as the basic materials and financial sectors rose. But the healthcare and consumer goods groups lagged behind. On Thursday, the index fell 0.2% but closed the month of May higher by 2.7%. The benchmark this week is on course to slip 0.2%, largely rattled by Tuesday's sell-off in global equity markets that was spurred by Italy's political crisis. The FTSE 100 lost 0.6% the previous week. The pound bust, plus 0.4889% on Friday bought $1.3325, up from $1.3295 late Thursday in New York and on track to be slightly higher against the dollar for the week. The direction of UK stocks was largely driven by action in Continental Europe SXXP, plus 1.01%, as it has been much of this week. Italian stocks I945, plus 1.49% leapt nearly 3% intraday after populist parties the Five Star Movement and the League made a new deal to form a coalition government. Italy's incoming Prime Minister, Giuseppe Conte, is a lawyer, an academic and a political novice. Political sentiment in Italy has boosted investor sentiment in Europe but as the parties still hold anti-establishment polices, this upward move might be short-lived, wrote CMC Markets analyst David Madden. Read, think the Italy panic was bad? Just wait until central banks turn off the spigot. Meanwhile, Spanish stock CBEX, plus 1.76% extended gains after lawmakers voted to oust Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy. Rajoy on Friday lost a no-confidence vote in Parliament that was prompted by corruption convictions for senior members of Rajoy's party. Spain's new Prime Minister will be Pedro Sánchez, leader of the Socialist Party. The question now is whether he'll decide to call a fresh general election ahead of the scheduled 2020 ballot. London-listed shares held to higher ground after the U.S. Labor Department said the world's largest economy added 223,000 new jobs in May, exceeding a forecast of 200,000 produced by a market watch poll of economists. The unemployment rate fell to 3.8% from 3.9%. Bear Developments PLC shares, Dove, plus 2.53% bulked up 3.2% after JP Morgan upgraded the home builder's rating to overweight from neutral. Barrett has underperformed heavily over the last year, on earnings risk concerns that we think will prove unfounded, said analyst Emily Bidilp in a research note. Shares of rival Taylor Wimpy plc TW, minus 0.24% rose 0.3% even as the stock was downgraded to neutral from overweight. Manufacturing activity in the UK expanded modestly in May from April, said IHS Market and SIPS, whose PMI came in at 54.4, up from 53.9 in the previous month that marked a 17-month low. Analysts surveyed by FactSet had expected a reading of 53.5. Markets were little changed following that a release.